general mood of the team? Um, it's the same as every week. Just go back to work the next week. Forget about what happened the past week. Try to show up for four hours and go back to work. How hard is that to do now? Is it harder every week to win a game like Saturday? No, you just have to have handle it like a pro. I mean, if you win or lose, it's going to happen. You just got to go back to the drawing board and go back to practice. Where's the confidence level for you guys on defense right now? We're getting more and more confident as we go. I mean, it's just, we played a good game. It's just some mental breakdowns in the third quarter that really hurt us and gave us some big runs. So, just got to get better from that. Remember, you kept showing up on that blitz and putting uh, some pressure, knocking McElroy down. Is it special stuff that you guys saw that you could take advantage of to expand your role a little bit last week? Well, it was basically a man match matchup play where I had to run it back. And first quarter, we saw that they were leaving the back end, so we decided to add every time the back stayed in, and that's what I did. Was that did that feel like the most that you had an opportunity to get in there and make some plays happen in the backfield this year? Yeah, it, it was. It was. How'd that feel? It felt good. I mean, I was able to um, do what I do best. I mean, run through running backs, especially in this league. I'll coach the things that no back should be able to block us, and that's what I did. First half play versus second half play this year, can you put a finger on where the difference is and, and why you're playing so well first half and kind of drops off second half? Um, well, the injury against Oregon hurt me a lot. I mean, mentally, I, I thought about it a lot when I was playing first half of the season, but I, mean, I just got to learn from it. and build on my experience from not letting nagging injuries um, affect how I think. How hard? What, why is it that, that this, you guys have struggled to put four quarters of football together on, you know, as a team? What, what is it that's different game to game, first half play versus second half play? I'm not really sure. I mean, it's the same as every game. Turnovers here and there hurt us. And we got all the young teams, so young players have to step up and make plays, but it's just mental breakdowns here and there that really hurt us. Is there is there a big difference in playing a early game with a 12-21 start versus a head start? Is that, is that a lot harder on, on you guys mentally to get ready to play an early game versus a, a later in the afternoon or a night game? Well, it seems that way as the outcome of this year, but I mean, it's just something that our bodies got to get used to. Herman, the game this weekend, um, obviously they've got a, a good receiver. They've had a good running back who's questionable right now. But how much do they re remind you, or how much did Alabama get you ready for maybe playing a team like South Carolina this weekend? Are there any similarities there in knowing if they've got a good receiver, they've had a good running game, and that you've got to concentrate on both those? Well, coming into the game, we knew they was going to run the ball, but we didn't think they were going to pass the ball as much as they did. But once we shut down the run, we kind of figured that would go to the air. But we just got to contest their receivers a little more than we did. Well, what about South Carolina then this weekend and, and the fact that there's some similarities there, I guess? Um, it, it's a lot of similarities between Alabama and South Carolina. They both run the ball and Steve Spurrier. It's going to run basically some of the same plays as Nick Saban did, so we just got to be prepared for it. If Lattimore does play Herman, uh, how much have you seen of him uh, throughout the first half of the season on film? Um, I haven't seen much of him. Um, I've never really watched him unless we get time, but we just really watched the general opponents that we have. Who do you remember about the uh, South Carolina game, Mike? Um, I remember um, all Mike Linebacker getting hurt, and I was able to step up and contribute to the team and finish out the season as a starting <coughs> linebacker. And I earned freshman all this against to be honest, and that was a great thing for me. It gave me experience, playing time, and helped me out a lot this season. Any chance uh, black jerseys would, would make a resurrection this weekend, even though it's a road game? I'm not sure, but I highly doubt it. Uh, talk about Jeffrey a little bit. I know, um, you know obviously he's a great receiver, good receiver. Just uh, talk about him, comparing him to A.J. Green, and also um, this past weekend at Julio. I mean, 
they all they all big receivers and you know, all of them has talent and ability, so we just gotta do the same thing we do against anybody. We just gotta contest them, put more pressure on the quarterback and make the quarterback get the ball out of his hand before he has time to throw to him. Is there anything about Garcia you've seen in his game? I mean he's played well at times this year. He's been maybe not played as, as well as he had or his coach had hoped for. Is there anything about him and about um, getting to him that he could do to disrupt his game or put him back on the seams a little bit? I'm not sure. We haven't watched film yet. We're going to do that this afternoon, so I'm not really sure at the moment.